Want to learn how to use Microsoft Flow and Power BI to do some real-time data monitoring? Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Patrick LeBlanc and from Guy in a Cube. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Power BI, a little bit about Flow, and we're going to bring both of those together to do some real-time data monitoring. Okay. And so this all started, I was at the data summit, the uh, data summit up in Seattle. And I met this guy named John. What's up, John? Shout out to John who works on the flow team, the Microsoft flow team. And he and I got to chat and he was like, man, why don't you do a flow video on Power BI, how you can connect up Power BI and flow. I was like, give me some scenarios. Tell me what you want me to do. Right. And so he's like, I got some great ideas. He sent me a couple ideas. We had a phone call. And the one that really piqued my interest was he said, hey, I got a buddy that works, you know, with some Azure stuff, some cloud stuff. And they have these certificates. And what they like to do is be notified when these certificates are expiring. And I was like, huh, that's in that's interesting um, because there's a lot of different tools out there to handle this stuff. And he's like, yeah, 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 I know, I know. But why can't we just use a little flow on the little Power BI? And I was like, you know what? I'm up for it. I'm game to do some flow on Power BI. So he explained the scenario and he's like, all right, we got this table. Inside the table, the name of the certificate, the date it expires. And I was like, okay. So I simulated it and let's head over to my computer and let me show you what this looks like, okay? So let me show you. On Management Studio, what I did was I created a table. So in this table, I have the name of the cert, the date it expires, how many days left. This is a computed column, and this is also a computed column, all right? And basically what I want to do is I want to take that data and stream it to a dashboard, and then when I have some that reaches a certain threshold, like it's going to expire within 30 days, notify somebody. Now, the team that we're talking about, their certificates are a little more granular. They actually have time, and they want to monitor it you know, by the hour and stuff like that. I'm not going to get that um, granular today. I'm just going to focus daily, but I'll show you how to set it. I'm going to show you how to set everything up. Okay. So the first thing you need is a data set. So the data set can be in any type of form or shape or in destination. Flow has lots and Microsoft Flow has lots and lots of connectors. Okay. In my case, because I work with SQL Server, I'm using the SQL Server table. So you can see, you know, what my, my data looks like in my database, all right? So once you get your data, the next thing you need to do is go to powerbi.com and create a streaming data set. So let's head again to my computer, all right? So we're gonna go to my computer. And what you do is you go here, log into Power BI, go to a workspace, in the top right corner up here, click create, and you're gonna see streaming data set, all right? You click streaming data set. For me, I'm using the API because Flow connects directly. It can push data straight to the API, okay? So choose API, click next. And what you're going to do is you give it a name and you enter the columns that you want to pass from the database into the streaming data set. Now, mine's going to look exactly like the table in the data in the uh, SQL server. All right. So let's just skip this. And you know what I like to do a cooking show. Right. So I massage this data a little bit and I'm going to go over and show you what my streaming data set looks like. So check this out. So over here, pop this open. And you can see my streaming data set. So you can see that I have a, the name of the cert, the date, the status, and the days left. So you just create it up and be sure you check this box for historical, historic data analysis. And now I'm going to talk about more about um, streaming data sets and in some sub in future videos. I'm also going to talk about how you clear this out in another video. So stay tuned. All right. So once you have this created, the next thing you need to do is go over to flow, go to flow.microsoft.com and say, I'm going to go to my flows, right? And then all you're going to do is say, create from blank. Now you can initiate a flow from a power app, lots of other places, but I don't have anything like this. And the guys that I'm helping out here, they don't have anything like this either. Um, to be honest, they're storing their data in an Excel spreadsheet. They're going to get it moved over to a SQL server. Okay. But because we're in a SQL server, that's what we're going to do. And since we're not pushing it, 
from anything that can call it, we're gonna use the very first step, the very first thing you're gonna do in your flow. You know what flow reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of SSIS a little bit, all right? It's a very graphical user interface. And so the first thing we're gonna do is use a schedule occurrence so that we can tell this thing fire off, you know, at some intervals that we specify. Let's head back to my laptop, and you can see right here, the very first thing, there's a little schedule. Go ahead and click schedule, and it'll pop up here. I'm gonna choose it. And I can tell it, you know, run this, you know, every hour, every day, every minute, every second. I'm just gonna choose minute for now. And every minute, every one minute I want that wanna run this. Now, in the real world, maybe it's daily, maybe it's every 30 minutes. I think these guys, I think it's about every hour they wanna run this. Whatever you choose is completely up to you. All right. So once you get that done, all you need to do is say new step. And you can add conditions and actions and subsequent videos. We'll talk about all these different things you can do. For now, we're just adding an action. So we'll go ahead and click an action. And what would you just type in SQL, SQL, all right? Tell you a funny story. I used to work with this guy who worked on the mainframe. And the very first day I was working with him, he said, Hey, you're the new squeal developer. It's like squeal. I'm not squealing? He goes, Squeal. Like, what is squeal? He goes, you know, that database. I say SQL. It's not squeal, man, it's SQL. Anyway, um, so you go ahead and choose, type that in, choose SQL Server, and then you need to choose a choice. In our case, we're gonna get multiple roles, not a single role, we're not calling a store procedure, but you can see all the different options, it's really flexible. Go ahead and choose get roles, right? And then you need to have a connection. If you click the little dot, 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 the ellipsis, you can add a new connection um, down here, or you can choose one. I already have mine set up, I'm gonna choose the one I want, and then it's, it'll take a little bit, you click the drop down, choose your table. So that's the name of my table right there. And then finally you add the last step. It's so exciting when I saw this because I am a Power BI nut. Yep, I think about it, I sleep about it, I dream about Power BI. I don't know, it's kind of crazy, right? Click new step, add another action, go ahead and type Power BI, choose Power BI right there. And then you can say, all right, select add rows to a data set. Loads up, and then you choose your workspace, Right, I'm gonna go find my workspace and choose my data set ID, which is expiring data. And come on, and real time data is the name of my set. And now click here, and then I just specify the columns from the database, right? My search status, you just click it. It's not where I want it to go. Make sure you click in the column where you want this to land. Search status, date of expiration, Right, name of cert, and finally, days left. So you go ahead and click that and save your flow. After that, it's ready to go. Your flow, you gotta give it a name um, and it's ready to go, okay? Let's just pretend for now, right? I already have one set up. I'm gonna go here, back to my flows. Now that your flow is set up, once you're all done, your flow will be set up. You'll see it right here, it's running. You can turn it off if you want. Okay, so we got it going. So you can see, you know, my flow is running every minute. Bloom, 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 bloom. It's running. It's getting things going. The next thing you need to do is we'll head over to Power BI, right? You click on, you'll see your data set. So you see my expiring data set. You click on report. You build out your report just like you would preparing it for your dashboard. And so you can see my, my items here. I can start building it, doing crazy things to it, um, everything I want. And then once it's done, I go over here, watch this. I build my report. I go take a look at my dashboard, which I call Power BI Meets Flow. And then you'll see right there, you got your Power BI Meets Flow. And all you need to do now is wait. And you'll see if I inserted some new data. So we'll do this and we'll go insert some new data called building access, we're gonna add a new cert, and we'll go ahead and insert it into the database. And if you wait about a minute or so, the dashboard will update. Um, it's pretty cool, it just works. And the final step, the final step for these guys, because I'm using gauges, this also works on cards, you know? You can click on the little ellipsis here, and I'm gonna go ahead and configure an alert, and I'm gonna say add a rule, and so anything that's above zero for the ones in black. So we have four thresholds. The ones in black are the ones that's about to expire. 
within the last 30 days. We really need to know about those right away. So I'm going to go ahead and say run this once every hour and alerts only sent. Remember, if the data changes, so I'm going to say send me an email to and click save. Alert gets created and when that data modifies, I'll get an email in my box to let me know that, hey, you got some certificates that's expired and we need to get those updated before they don't work anymore. Because they could bring down my application, they could bring, bring down maybe a data center. I don't know what these um, certificates are for, but now I'm using Power BI, now I'm using Flow to proactively monitor everything that's going on with my certificates. Think about the possibilities. Maybe this isn't your scenario. Maybe you're not monitoring certificates. Maybe you're monitoring something else. Maybe you want to track if, you, if um, you know, a certain attendance level or if revenue reaches a certain threshold or something like that. And you want to do it in real time. You want to you know, have a little stock ticker. Who knows what you want to do? Imagine the possibilities. Think about it. If you have some different ideas, if you think of some different ways to do this, post it in the comments below. If you have any comments about this video, please post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, smash it, hit it. Give me two thumbs up. Um, so thank you guys for watching from Adam and Patrick. As always, 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 always. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.